All right, this is Mr. Charles from Make It Simple TT. Welcome to another theory video. This theory video is on Cape Computer Science Unit 1. I hope you learned something. All right, let's go. The first thing that we always have to remember is that our computer is... Um, I can't see the top. So all it really trying to do is binary calculations. That's all that the ELU does, right? So we work on the binary calculations. And data is stored in our computer in bits, either one or zero. So because one or zero only has two bits, the computer operates in base two. Sorry for two in, but it's corn. And when I eat corn soup, there must be nothing left. Alright, so binary addition is like that. If you don't know how to do bin binary addition, well, let me know. So binary addition, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, and then um, 1 plus 0 is 1. So that would be the addition for that. 1 plus 0 is 1, is good, 1, one plus 1 is 1, 0, say put a 0 there. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. And 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. And 1 plus 0 will be 1. Can we go with the addition? So should I learn 9.5? Cool. Subtraction. Same kind of drama. Zero could take away zero good. One could take away zero cool. One could take away one. That's good. But zero can take away one. So you had a body one from here. When you body one from there, you're actually getting one zero. One zero is literally two take away one. If you convert it, so you're going to get one there. All right, cool. Conversions, convert, converting from decimal to binary. Mm. None specially divided by 2. So 2 into 19 is 9. Remainder 1. You're keeping track of the remainders. 2 into 9 is 4. Remainder 1. 2 into 2 is 2. Remainder 0. 2 into 2 is 1. Remainder 0. 2 into 1 is 0. Remainder 1. And then you have to read it going upwards. So you'll get 1. Zero zero one one. And that's decimal to binary conversion, right? Not too special there. That's form five stuff. Yeah, okay, come back. When you're converting from binary to decimal, you have to take the number that you have, the one zero one one zero one, and you have to multiply by its decimal equivalent. So the decimal equivalent will be base will be based on the base that it's at. So this is base zero, so two to the power of zero is one. 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, and then you multiply these, which is what's going on here, and then you add up all of them, and then you'll get the number. That's revision. Same thing with decimal to octal. Octal only have 8 digits. 0 to 7. Kimberly, you know, I remember I was supposed to take this comma off since you told me about it in class, and I never did. 
All right, now it's done. All right, cool. So with decimal to octal, you divide in by eight instead. Um, and then you do the calculations and that should be okay. When you're going from decimal to hexadecimal, you divide it by 16 because hexadecimal is um, 16 characters, zero to F. Or when you reach 10, you put A on it, put 11, you put B on 12, C. Alright, no questions here, right? That should be okay. Alright, positive and negative numbers, right? Good. So, what a computer has to do, it has to be able to um, do calculations. But most of the times, we, we only do calculations with positive numbers. So, basically, we have to figure out, they have to figure out different ways of how they can get a computer to represent a number. So, the first one is BCD, stands for binary coded decimal. It means that you have to Put the numbers in groups of four, and the first four bits, I mean the first four bits will determine the sign, the next four will be a number, and the next four will be another number. So this is literal, literally positive 35, because 1110 is a positive, and negative will be 1011 or all ones. The next way is sign and magnitude. Sign and magnitude will use a certain amount of bits, but the first bit is always going to be reserved for the sign. So if you have a zero, it's a positive number. If you have a one, it's a negative number. Tools complement now is the way that computers actually do subtraction. Is the steps are you get the number, you get to the amount of bits that they say to use. They might say 8 bit tools complement, 12 bit tools complement, something bit tools complement. Fill it up with 8 bits and then you invert it. When you invert them, you add one and boom, you get answer. Voila. Yeah. So binary subtraction is basically when you use addition and two's complement because all a computer can actually do is add. So we're trying to trick the computer into being able to add and subtract. So if we say subtract thirteen from fifteen, we have to rephrase it in a way where we could get the computer to do the addition. So if we get negative thirteen as a value and add it to fifteen, then it will be technically getting the computer to do subtraction. And in order to do the subtraction, you have to represent the negative number in, in two's complement form and then just add it using binary addition, normal binary addition. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, Cape IT, Cape Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So, um, thank you very much, and look out for the next video that is here or here, because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.